Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, let's take a step back to last Sunday. Huh. I have no idea what my tarot was about, but I remember that I did a video because I found a St. Bernard on my doorstep <laughs> and it was a message. And I went on to Google and I yelled, I spoke about what this animal meant as a spirit message. It said something is coming to an end. I have to let go of something. Right at the end I said that. This week I've been quite unhealthy, okay? It got a little bit scary there two times, okay? But um, I'm pulling through. I'm feeling a hell of a lot better. But I'm not 100% yet. <laughs> so here we go with tarot for today, okay? It's been a very, very interesting week. And it's great when I personally see that those confirmations are coming true, okay? Um, so if you haven't watched that messages video that I did last Sunday, please go watch it because it's prominent for very, very many people at this point. It's not just me, okay? Things happen to me so then other people know what it's about, okay? It's never just about me, ha, 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 with her um, not just making it about me. So today I've already drawn some cards except for the ruin that I always do, right? And the first card that I've already thrown out or should I say she picked out from the little lovey-dovey cards. It's love trusts that all will work out for the best in the end. Now I'm going to hold it up to the screen so you can read it if you want to. Love trusts that all will work out for the best in the end. What does that mean? Let's just go there. We get so focused with the perspective of now that we can't see that 2020 clarity we can't see that perspective um that hindsight until it like a week after you know looking back over the past week for me it's been a pretty chaotic week and i will go there guys i'm not still well okay but if i had any sort of clarity last sunday with what was going to happen for me this week Man, I would have buckled up tighter than I did and I would have taken some more precautions for what hit me this week. Okay, it is the flu. I will go there. I've had the flu before. I've had the flu years ago. My daughter's had asthma all her life and the symptomology that we had this week suggested nothing else relating to a C word or anything else that could be worse or better than what we had okay there is no comparison with flus so this is one of the things that we've got to talk about with this card love trusts that all will work out for the best in the end we trust is the biggest thing trust when we let go of our own ego and we allow things to unfold without expectations or trying to control the situation and we just relax that's a good way of saying it just relax chill even and we just let go of that time time which comes to patience patience because when we just allow things to unfold without oh my god i need to be better for tomorrow i've got a reading or i've got to do my tarot reading um, video or I've got to write my book or I've got to go to work or I've got to look after the neighbor's cat tomorrow because he's going away for work you know time at the end of the day tries to control us yeah but when we stop and we pause we notice that time is actually our friend more than our enemy okay love trust that all will work out for the best in the end this is what this card is saying this week allow things to unfold as they will for it is those hidden synchronicities 
I cannot tell you because they're personal for me this week. But things have happened for me this week that would never have happened unless I was holed up in bed all week sick as a dog. Okay? Um, Things have happened that I'm very, very appreciative of this week. The opportunities that have opened up, even though at the time I could not fathom what they were. So this is where we've got to just relax and chill and know that we are getting looked after, guys. Because ultimately, if we stay true on course and we're trusting them with impeccable trust and love, they will look after us. And that's what I'm trying to get through today. So love trusts that everything will work out the way it should. We don't have to control it. We don't have to... um, What am I trying to say here? <laughs> you prob- you're right, guys. are probably sitting at home thinking, I know what she's trying to say. We don't have to get involved with things, okay? So just stop. Concentrate on yourself. Think about what's important to yourself this week, okay? The second card that I got from the um, Louise Benton range. God, it feels like three months since I've done this. It really does. I've had a big week. Okay, so this is Louise Louise Benton's cards. If you do want to go over and get one of her packs, I'll just put the website up. The website is also down in the description if you want to go buy her cards. I would suggest that you do because I love using them. This is the artwork for today. So let me just have a look at it. It's a flower and it's coming up through the waters or is it the dirt and the wind? You know, which element is this representing that could be relevant for you this week, okay? But other other than that, we can, suggest, we can all assume here, life is continuing, okay? And it's actually called the creation card. So I'll put it up in case you do want to pause, read it. And here we go. The creation card. Cosmic ocean, swirling forms... From the spiral worlds are born, vast expanse of magic clusters across endless waveform structures. Expanding out eternally, creation unfolds itself through thee. Fear subsides on love's flood tide as as through the mystical realms we glide. Ocean of infinity, no beginning or end, you will always be. And at the bottom it says, I am a divine expression of creation. Life and death. What is life and death? Ha ha. We say it's this existence that we now occupy in this body like the avatar of Linda. But at the end of the day, our souls are eternal, guys. We do go on and we will strive for we always have before. Okay? So take your fears away and just stop getting involved with what is going on because what is going on around the world they're doubling down that's a big message I've been getting this week they're doubling down they tried to get us to fear things now they have to come out with a certain MP thing if you know what I'm talking about there (laughs) another one don't listen to them guys turn off your news just don't do it okay don't do it do what I've just done spend a week in bed and just think about yourself and how good it feels to be in the warmth of your bed when it's a cold day outside now I've now oh you want me to do the tarot okay she doesn't want me to do my tarot card yet she wants me to do the ruin first hello thank you so much I will do this all right so here's my ruin pack she wants me to pull one out of here and here we go okay so i just want one stone that represents for the whole world for the next week one stone please for the whole world for the next week let's see what we get today one stone and it's this one this one all right put them put the pack away first here he is oh i think i've had this guy before he looks like that so let me go over to my ruin guide let me look for him 
No, it's not that one because he goes, there he is. It's this one here. It's this one here, guys. So let me just hold him up. That's him. So I'm going to read this one here, guys. Okay, so let's just read what this guy says. It's the Fei Feihu. Oh, it's the cattle. We've had this one before. Okay. An ancient primary source of wealth and status. The symbol of earned income or success. Something worked for to generate a return. Okay. So there's three dot points. I'll read them out. Prosperity, good fortune, success and financial or relationship matters due to, due to hard work or actions. Yay. Okay. Second one. Signal not to give up on your current goals. Okay. I like that one too. Okay. And our last one. It's surrounded by negative, uh, if surrounded by negative ruins, hold tight for now and conserve what you have. Okay, so we don't need that one. But I really like the second part because it says signal not to give up on your current goals. So guys, still create, creating. Okay, um, they are doing a very, very good job right now to make us feel like that we are nothing. You've got to agree with that, right? They want us to think that we are just the scum of the world. They want us to just shivel up and die and go away, right? It ain't going to happen, is it? So we're going to keep our vibrations up. And I might do a video tomorrow about raising up our vibrations because I certainly need it. <laughs> okay. Um, even my daughter, she does artwork. So here's her artwork, if you've noticed it. This is a healing um thing that she's done on my hand today okay all right so there you go i'll just put that up if anyone can read that please tell me what it means because my daughter drew it and said this will help you heal mum so this is the sort of thing that my daughter does okay um yeah so um it's oh i won't tell you what she's told me about it okay let's see what you guys say if, you, if you've got any comments in the bottom um to add to the bottom of here please comment if you think you know what this means okay or if you want to email me my emails also below too okay so let's just get back on point okay that ruin it's a cattle it's take stock okay now i've been saying this for months start getting food together and look what, what's happening now especially here in australia and america food shortages are already starting okay pardon me i've got three months of food and i'm not i'm not lying i've got three months of food you name like jams i've got about four different types of jams and i've got about 10 bottles of each so i've got cup breakfast covered with jams for months then i've got um cake mixes other things to make for breakfast cereals oats so i've got all these different varieties just for breakfast then i've got lunches sorted then i've got dinners sorted i've got cakes and other desserts that i can make okay so i'm not saying go to extremes <laughs> like I have and other people around the planet but be aware when short shortages arise okay always keep a couple of um stock ups okay because things could just in an instant and then you'll be all really in tight trouble okay so yeah we've got to work for the best results that we want this is what it's saying okay this card yeah, we've got to work to keep ourselves going with what's coming up, guys. Because the next 12 months is going to get very, very hard for us. Okay? How, what does the creation card mean in all this? Cosmic ocean, we are constantly one. We are always alive. We don't die, okay? I, if you want to go watch my videos about heaven, you know we, we don't die, Okay? So this card represents, don't stress over the little stuff. Don't stress over, oh my God, I can't go and get my nails done today because I'm in isolation or whatever the hell. Don't worry about it, okay? This is when we start thinking what truly is important to our soul rather than what's important to our body, okay? Think of it that way. Do we really need to go and get our roots fixed? Do we really need to go and get this or that do we really need a new dress at this point spend the money elsewhere on possibilities and things that are coming okay because the cattle cut the stone for the cattle um it actually says this is our time to not give up on your goals okay don't be frugal with your money that's what they're virtually saying 
Okay, think about your goals and invest in those. Now, invest doesn't just mean money. <laughs> Could, but what about frequency, currency, energy? It's not always money, right? So investing in a goal, it could be going to bed and just thinking about it. So we create it in our brain. Then we can put it into materialistic form by actually going out and starting it. Okay, or the process. So start thinking of those processes that we want that are going to get us through this next 12 odd months, guys, because it's going to get a little bit cray cray. Okay, because now I want to go over, I've done the love card love trusts that all will work out okay because we are all part of creation i got the ruin that says keep going make those dreams a reality and now we've got my card today i've got the three of swords <sighs> powerful card even knowing it's a three okay you ready i've got the three here the three of swords three of swords stormy emotions so remember emotions are reactions you hear something on the news and we either get upset we get angry we get frustrated we get happy it's an emotion reactive reactive emotion okay when so stormy emotions is when we react into circumstances it can lead to quarrels should this escalate it could lead to a separation okay so hold on to your emotional balance if you do start feeling angry upset frustrated impatient whatever take check of yourself and say how am i feeling where is this coming from what is creating it okay why am i feeling anxious okay why do i feel this way ask yourself However, please remember that this card is still has the energy of only a three, okay? There may be upheaval in family situations, but hope for the future is shown in this card, represented by the clearing sky above the image. So here's the card with the clearing sky behind it. And here we go, that we are all part of creation. And also, love trusts that all will work out. So we get these feelings where everything's inundating us we're getting so under all this concrete of issues drama all these government regulations everything's coming down on us like a ton of bricks but we've got to remember the ruin stone too in this mix because it's the cattle this guy up here guys it's the cattle card okay and what did he say signal not to give up on your current plans or goals okay so don't stop believing in what you are for we are a very precious commodity and they know that we are a very precious commodity okay every single one of us is unique special loved so look at yourself in the mirror and you say to yourself you know what i am valuable i don't care who thinks so but i know they exist I don't need to know who they are but I know they're out there and they know they want me to feel great because I deserve it so look at yourselves in the mirrors guys and say those words to yourself before you go to bed at night you say to yourself you know what stuff what they're trying to tell me I am worthless don't mean a thing my job's put me down people are bullying me I'm getting attacked left right and center who the hell are those people? Because for those who make those judgments are the ones who have the issues. Please remember that. The ones who make the assertions, those assertions, those making up all those lies of deceit, they're the ones with the issues. We do not have to play their games so this week guys anything from the tarot that i'm getting here with the cards in front of me hold on tight do not lose your values your principles your dignity and your strength do not forget how powerful you are this week 
because they're about to try and pull us all down. They've tried to pull me down this week. <laughs> it didn't work. Didn't work. All it does for me is reaffirms how much I love the universe and how much I love God and trust him. Because I knew I was going to be all right. But it is funny how I've had to let go of something this week, which is personal. Happened on Tuesday. And I'm not even upset about it. It's good. Because I trust them that everything always works out. Okay? For I am part of the creation. The unending love of the universe. And when we do get caught up in other people's issues, dramas and grudges and regrets, of course it's going to try and pull us down, right? So stay true to who we are and all will be okay. That's the message for this week and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.